we have some prawns over here some onions some greens and of course i've got seasoning hiding somewhere because we season our food okay <laughs> And you guess what's on the menu? Look at that, green tomatoes. I know maybe possibly only one person will get this, right? Hey, any? Maybe. So let's see. Pink Himalayan salt, ground black pepper, some barbecue seasoning, good spoonful. Some jumbo chicken stock. You want to not put that much because there's already salt in here. The barbecue season has salt, so you don't want a lot of salt. So just a little bit for flavor. Not a lot. She says while she submerges it. Is that a word? Anyway, and you want a teaspoon or two of olive oil. Also want to put some coriander powder, okay? I really like the, oh wait, sorry and um before you mix it coriander powder and two tablespoons of oil one i like to measure my oil because me and oil are up with some cling film and in the fridge it goes look how tasty that looks mm -mm -mm. my lord yes jesus in my body the oil like gives me spots so i literally have to count how much oil i have in my food because if once I go over, uh, it's not really pretty for my body. Make sure that's really nice and seasoned and then put it in the fridge. So I've cut all the tomatoes, green peppers, chilies, onions, lime, apple, coriander and garlic. And we're going to put all of that in a lovely blender. And we're going to blend it with some salt. Okay, so now we've chopped up our tomatoes, green chilies, and limes, one white onion, two green apples, and three cloves of garlic, and some coriander. Coriander. <coughs> I'm just gonna mix it all into here, and I'm gonna hand blend it and add water as needed. Start off by blending the tomatoes first because they hold the most liquid, so then that will determine how much water I have to add in the end. So annoying cooking while holding one blender. Uh, can you see how much liquid it is? I don't think I'll even need to add water at this point. Whoa. Okay. Would be better, but I just don't want to take out a huge ass blender. So I've added more tomatoes. It's gonna blend. Look at the consistency. This recipe is from a restaurant I used to work at and uh, it's really hard to find green tomatoes and they are expensive and jalapenos are expensive as well so I don't make this often. And also uh, we used to use canned tomatoes in the restaurant because that's how expensive they be and hard to find. So certain seasons you can't find it. I was so glad to find the shop where I uh, now get my green tomatoes. So because there's like a lot, I had to do it separately. So I did the onions and the apples, and now I'm doing the chilies and the coriander, and then I'm gonna mix it all up in here. So this is what it is, salsa verde, spicy green sauce with green tomatoes. Once you've blended the two parts, you wanna add some fresh lime juice. I've got two lime juice here, and I'm gonna season it with some salt and then taste it to see if I like it, if it needs anything else added gonna taste so good action we're not gonna season it with pepper we're just gonna season it with some salt and some cumin powder let's go okay so focus some lime juice goes in. So let's go some fresh lime juice. There we go. Mix it in. I'm then gonna put this in the fridge. I like my salsa really cold, like all my salsas, my guacamole, 
as I'm eating it, I don't really like it's room temperature. I like it really cold. I've also got some cumin. I believe it's cumin powder. I get the, the two confused because my packages, the names have been uh, wiped off, so they're faded. So I don't know which one is cumin, but I know I can smell the one that I like. I don't like the smell of one of them. One of them I use it in Indian cooking, and the other one I use it with Mexican food. I use cumin, I believe, in Mexican food, and the coriander seed powder in, I don't know which one I use, I'll have to clarify. So look at that salad. Salsa to go. Next, we're just going to make our guacamole. Don't mind that, that's just the, the seed left some residue on the actual avocado so we're just gonna mix all of this into the bowl and mush it up with cumin and salt and pepper this time so no pepper in the salsa but pepper in the guacamole water lime and lemon juice will do what you want to do is I've got the salt in here you want to mix the lime and the salt first mash that and then add the onions and the coriander or else the onions and the coriander you'll be mushing it in and the juices it just it becomes overpowering when you reach this consistency of the mashed avocado this is good just with salt and lemon and lime this is good but i like mine's a bit more extra that's why i put coriander i put coriander cumin seed and i also put onions red onions some people like white onions i feel like white onions is too powering so I just use red onions and then I'm gonna add cumin to it and again put this in the fridge because I like it really nice and chilled. I only had two avocados but obviously you can do more. The avocados be expensive y'all. Like for real, for real. Yep, got the cumin and the coriander in. And then I'm just going to transfer it into a nice clean bowl so then it looks a little more presentable when serving. Mm -mm -mm. We have a hot pan going here. I'm just going to turn on the heat and then our um, corns have been seasoned for about 2-3 hours. And this is just going to go in and fry. We want to flash, so basically we want to flash fry it. Okay, so you just want minimal oil minimal oil because we're trying to kind of grill it instead of like frying it that way it's more healthy so i just basically laced the pan in oil and the older the pan the tastier the food look at this pan it's been through some things cooked some things when it starts to curl then we flip it over So here we have barley, spelt, and some quinoa. And this will be our rice replacement for the burrito. Get ready. Ooh, look at that. See, this is what we want. Look at that. Lord have mercy, yes. It smells just like the one we used to make in the restaurant I used to work at. And I hope it tastes just as good, if not better okay if the pan burns it's supposed to we're charring it all right that smokiness is just gonna flavor it as well so good now i'm gonna turn on the heat just a little bit Woo. Mm -hmm. yeah. this is how i grease my pan so i put like a tablespoon of, of oil and then all of that extra i spill it out i just want the the pan laced I don't want it soaking then up goes the heat in goes the prawns boom boom bam 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 one you can just so you can just scrape these parts off before you start frying up my hands are dry yes proof I've been washing my hands every time I touch this damn phone because my hands are ashy okay goes the next batch on top of all of that that's gonna Ooh. Uh, my hands are dry yeah i don't even want to throw my hands because they're so ashy i'm ashamed 
Ooh, Lord, look at that smoke. That's what you want. It's just a technique of grilling. Yeah, I used to work in a restaurant, believe me or not. This is what I used to do for 12 hours on a Saturday and a Sunday. This is the second round. I've just had one, it's so moist, so succulent, so juicy, so good. Need to turn this one around. Take a look at that. Sorry, there's people in the back. Doesn't this look like it can smack your mama? This can just, ooh. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so using the same pan, we still haven't washed it, we're just going to throw it in some peppers. We're not going to season the peppers because everything has like salt in it already. Ignore my dry ashy pan. We're not going to season the peppers. High heat. You want it almost burning, okay? Usually you'll season it with some barbecue seasoning, but because um, there's salt in everything else and we're trying to be healthy, we're not going to season this. We're just going to collect the leftover flavors on the pan. Let it sit, let it smoke. Remembered, uh, add in some onions. You want to add in some onions in there as well. Let it kind of burn a little bit. And here we go. Here is the final result. We have the salsa verde there, the lovely prawns, our peppers, guacamole, our healthy rice mixture grains, some salad here, and some salsa. And some sour cream. We finna eat. Thank the heat high and just let it do its thing. I'm going to enjoy this food thoroughly. Thoroughly, and then we're gonna flip it. Brings back good memories. From when I used to work in the Mexican. Okay, so here we go. Pro tip, you can put lime juice and lime and lemon juice in here with coriander and you don't have to use quinoa and all of this stuff, this is just me trying to be healthy. You can use um, brown rice, white rice, whatever you want, even spelt. Now let's put this together. First things first is the rice. You want to put this on tin foil, but we don't have no tin foil. So that's why I'm just using a plate because we don't have any tin foil. And you can also add beans to it, add beans to it. But I don't like beans, hence why I don't put beans in my burrito. Then you have your prawns added on. Mm -mm. Yes, look at that. Guys, I'm finna eat. And go the salsa. It's a fat ass burrito. The tortillas are really small. Sorry, guys, I'm tasting the prawns. Lettuce goes on. And then goes in the line of guacamole. Salsa verde. Well, at this point, it's a bowl because I am, I can't wrap this anymore. And the sour cream goes on. Yo, I'm, I'm ready to take this down. I can't wrap it because the tortilla is small, but we would be able then to wrap it if I had tin foil anyway, which I don't. This is our burrito plate. I'm going to enjoy it. Here it is, the final plate. It looks like a lot, but it's really healthy. Beyond the bread, uh, which I wanted to get brown bread, but my mom already bought it and I just couldn't be bothered. So 
and I had to hand grate the cheese. I had to literally cut it in stripes because that's why this cheese is struggling. So this is the final plate. It looks like a lot, but it's not, and I'm hungry, and it's my only meal. But yeah, it's so healthy. Mm, kind of low carb, but so delicious. I just wanted to fold it up for you to see how generous we were at the restaurant. We were generous, to say the least. How big this is. Look how big this is. Now we don't have any wrapping foil, hence why I wasn't able to put it into a proper burrito. But Lord have mercy, it's good.